Hello and welcome to the Long Island Weather Storm Update here as we deal with this weird storm <laughs> that we have. Uh, you can see plenty of clouds today pretty much around. We already have the raining. It's actually raining already in New Jersey. The storm is moving quicker than uh, than anticipated. The movement keeps getting faster and faster, and because of that, the track is going to be a little bit further to the south, I think, than we were looking at yesterday. Uh, however, I still think a lot of the people are really overdoing it with these snow totals. Um, so uh, you can see here is the satellite image. You can see the clouds streaming in. We'll just show you what the day was like today briefly. Yeah, it was in the pines just for a little bit just to look at it before the snow fell, um, just even though it was cloudy. Uh, you can see we had a high overcast there. Pretty much, you know, pretty much this is kind of like what the sky looks like before a storm. Uh, no surprises here except that it wasn't that cold. So, uh, yeah, we'll look at that map later. But first, let's go to the CONUS satellite view here so we can take a look at our storm. And here it is. Here, uh, you can see it right there. And we're going to just let me make this a little bit. Yeah, let's make that a 96 frame loop here so we can take a look at our storm here and we'll show you where everything is on the map here. Uh, so we got our low over here. Our low center is over here. Uh, here is your moisture feed coming right from the Pacific. So you notice uh, following the arrows here, you notice that moisture feed is coming right from the Pacific here. Uh, and that is and, uh, this is something we've been seeing all season long. Uh, and uh, we're seeing it again. Uh, this is a southern stream system here uh, that we're seeing here, and all that moisture is making its way north. And once again, there is severe weather in the south with this as well. Uh, so if we go look at our radar here, um, just get this out of here. We'll look at our radar, and you'll see all this heavy rain that's occurring here, very heavy rain. Uh, not a whole lot of snow showing up on the map so far. Uh, no snow in our area. You can see it's mostly all rain. Um, this is what's going to eventually become the coastal low that will take over by tomorrow morning. Uh, and uh, But so far, not a whole lot uh, going on. You do see some isolated severe uh, thunderstorms. Uh, Storm Prediction Center does have, its, it have a marginal risk. Uh, looking at the Weather Prediction Center, you can see, again, there's your storm system there, your low pressure system. And this is the cold front. But see, the cold front hasn't really come through yet. And this is the challenge. We don't really have a whole lot of cold air to work with. Uh, and this is why I don't understand why um, they are uh, doing what they are doing. So no active severe thunderstorm warnings or watches. But we do have a wind advisory for parts of the uh, for a good part of the Carolinas and a high wind warning in the mountains. We've got winter weather advisories in uh, parts of the Appalachians. And then, yes, they've actually put us in a winter storm warning all the way, in, including Monmouth County, which... I think is absolutely ridiculous. I don't think we're going to see. If you're going by the criteria of having heavy snow falling, yeah, but I don't think we're going to see an over six inch amount of accumulation unless you have a chilled snowboard. Uh, winter weather advisory for Ocean County because they moved the track further to the south, and they just think that these numbers. I mean, look. Uh, I mean, I just don't see it, man. And we're going to get into it in a little bit here. There's many, many things working against those high snowfall amounts that uh, the Weather Service is, is predicting. Um, many things. Um, uh, but you can see here, you went to Weather Advisor. You also got all the, the wind stuff and the coastal stuff going on, too. Uh, but this is going to be a very, very fast-moving storm. Uh, that's one thing to note. So, again, another look at the storm. And you can see, again, that feed goes all the way back. If I show it, go, go back to yesterday, you'll see that feed goes all the way back to the Pacific. And this is what's been going on all this is why it's been so wet. Uh, we have this warmer than normal Pacific, uh, your super El Nino, and we get in these atmospheric rivers coming into the east now uh, because it's so powerful. Uh, never seen this before, but again, when we are dealing with uh, changing climate, we're going to see things we've never seen before. So um, at least I haven't seen it like this. Um, that's for sure. It's very, usually it's a Pacific thing. It usually affects the Pacific coast, but this actually was the storm that actually drenched California, but it has now moved into the east. Um, and you can see that moisture feed. That's from yesterday. Here's this from today. Uh, so uh, let's go look at our, uh, first, our statistics for today. And uh, I'm not even, I, I mean, I could go over the briefing with the weather service. Uh, maybe we'll do that toward the end, but uh, I think it's, it's very, it's very over the top. So as far as our temperatures go today, uh, cooler today, at least it was cooler, but we didn't really get much sun. 
Uh, high of 45, low of 31 at ice lift. Still put us us five degrees above normal for the day. Central Park was warmer, high of 48. So they were eight degrees above normal for the day. Uh, looking at our current conditions again, we've got temperatures generally upper 30s to low 40s with light easterly winds. Uh, looking on the map at our highs, uh, you'll see highs were in the mid 40s across Long Island and upper 40s to around 50. It looks like it hit 52 in Tom's River. Um, how are you going to get the, you know, the ground? We haven't even been below, sorry, we were below freezing in some areas this morning. Got down to 30 at Islip, 23 at West Hampton, and 30 in the pine, in the, uh, around Tom's River. So it was, but generally we've been above freezing a lot. So it's just a lot working against this storm uh, that uh, that the Weather Service just wants to uh, hype, basically. Uh, so I'll briefly look at their, or look, their uh, briefing here. Uh, they seem to think that 6 to 10 inches is likely with 12 to 15 to the north. I mean, where are they getting these numbers from? I would love to know. Uh, they're looking at the model outputs, and they're not figuring anything else out, like ratios and things like that. Uh, and then for us, uh, southern Westchester, 8 to 11. Uh, and then for, uh, for the coast, 6 to 10 inches likely, uh, and possibly up to a foot of snow. Uh, and that I just am not buying. This is the map they've got. They're giving like Suffolk County eight to nine inches. That's that's that's. Oh, look at this. Uh, this is the high amount, end amount. This is the low end amount of uh, uh, low end amount forecast here. Change over timing and things like that. We're gonna get into that in the models. But you know, just because it's snowing heavy doesn't necessarily mean all of that is going to stick right away. It's going to take time. And when you're dealing with a fast-moving system, well, that's, that's, uh, that's uh, you know. So let's go to the models now. Um, and uh, we have the 0ZH triple RN. So let's go ahead and look at that. And you'll see uh, it actually starts as light rain, then it mix. And then because of that, suddenly track. But still, it's snowing. All right, so you say, f figure the snow starts 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. All right, your storm is booking along here. It's already done by noon. So you're only going to ha have about five hours of snow. How are you going to get 10 inches in five hours? I don't know, especially with eight to one ratios. I don't see how you can possibly make that happen. Uh, and the storm is moving quicker and quicker than expected. I mean, it's already gone by the afternoon. Maybe a little snow on the east end. And that's it. It's out of here. Um, and it's, it's really just moving along at a very, very quick, quick rate. Um, and that's, that's the issue that we have. And so what the weather service is doing is they're just looking at this. Like, oh, there you go. That's the forecast. They're just going to this. Ten, assuming, what does it say up here? Assuming 10 to 1 snow to liquid ratio. Well, with the temperatures above freezing, you're not going to get 10 to 1. You're going to get 8 to 1. This is going to be a very wet, dense snow. Um, so that's why I'm not buying this at all one bit when they look at this. All right. Now, we know total accumulated precip. We know we're going to be dealing with a lot of liquid equivalent, all right? Uh, probably one to maybe even two inches of liquid equivalent, though you could see because the storm track has shifted south, now the heaviest liquid equivalent has also shifted south along with that, all right? Um, at least on the HRRR model, all right? Dew points and wind flow, and this is an important thing to look at here, all right? So here's your dew points and wind flow, and you see the northeast wind. Um, our dew points are above freezing. So how are you going to get the snow to stick in? And, and, you know, you want those dew points below freezing, and they are above freezing. So, the, you know, yes, you're going to have a roaring northerly wind. That's true. But it's going to take time to get that to stick. You've already, it's going to take an hour at least for it to just start sticking to the ground. Uh, so now you're down to like four hours. So I just don't see how you're going to get the numbers they're calling for. Um, behind the system, you know, the cold air comes in, obviously, and Wednesday, that's when we're going to get into some colder air you see there. Uh, but that really cold, this is the colder polar air, but that doesn't move in until after the storm is gone. So we're working with really marginal air here. Uh, on the HRRR coming at our temperatures, you can see we are above freezing, and we stay there throughout the whole storm. We don't go below freezing until, um, and actually it goes, it might even hit 40 in the afternoon if the sun comes out, uh, and then, this, then it'll drop below freezing at night. Uh, and we'll probably have by Wednesday morning, we'll probably have some 20s. And then Wednesday will be pretty chilly with highs, probably maybe not making it out of the uh, up, uh, around 30 degrees. We may, we may not make it above freezing on Long Island. Maybe at Jersey will, according to the HRRR. So um, you, know, you have this model here suggesting what it's suggesting. 
Um, now we're going to go look at some other models like the NAM3, and we've got to look at them out of the 0Z NAM in as well. Go with the NAM3 here, first looking at this parameter here, uh, and you'll see, again, there's that heavy rain um, and then heavy snow. Like I said, that heavy snow, and there, you know, it will be heavy snow. It will be a, this will be a heavy snow. It will come down very quickly. Um, but if, you know, if you can put down that amount of snow, if you can get three inches an hour rates, that's going to be incredible, and that might be a record breaker. I don't, I don't know. But you can see it's going to be coming down from that, I would say, that 7, 8 o'clock time frame to around noon, and then it's tapered off, and then it's done. So you're going to have like five hours of heavy snow. So can you get eight inches or better in five hours when you're dealing with marginal temperatures? That is the question. Um, one, thing, one thing difference is because of the further south storm track, some areas along Jersey will pick up some snowfall accumulation a little further to the south, like Tom's River. We weren't originally predicting much now. We'll, maybe an inch or two accumulation will do over there. Um, but you can see that's some pretty heavy snow there. So what the Weather Service is doing, here's it looking at this, and they're going like, oh, okay, total snowfall. And they're looking at that. And um, that's not what you should be doing, all right? Um, what you can do is positive snow depth change. And I think this is a little more accurate. And you see here, most of the area just gets a couple of inches from that, all right? Uh, I'm willing to go a little hard. This may be a little bit on the low end, but, um, you know, the, the, you, you, not all of it's going to stick right away when it comes down. That's the point with these marginal temperatures that you have, you know? Now I'll go to the radar uh, simulation here, the radar, uh, and you'll see here again, um, raining in the morning. This is the NAM, and then it changes to snow right around 7, 8 o'clock, heavy at times, all right? Um, and then it ends by, by noon. It's done for. It's done by uh, early afternoon, uh, except for the east end of Long Island. It's done, all right? Now, looking at the total liquid equivalent here, total accumulated precip here, you'll see, again, that trend south, so it's heavier precipitation further to the south, um, um, but along the shore, a lot of it, especially southeastern um, New Jersey, is going to be mostly rain. All right. You're dealing with uh, a dynamic uh, situation or a dynamic cooling situation where if it'll snow heavy enough, it will it will change. It, it will snow and it will snow. And there's no argument about that. But how much of it's going to stick? That's the argument that we have. Uh, we'll go look at the F Gen now because this is something that's also kind of interesting to look at here. So um, this is this will show you the lift in the energy in the atmosphere. Heaviest F gens now off to the south on this NAM three. Um, we can look at the NAM twelve as well, and seeing the same thing, the heaviest precipitation now kind of off to the south um, as the storm track has trended further to the south. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. That again, the heaviest precipitation is going to be falling in warmer air that's off to the south, so less snow again. So that's why I think a lot of these numbers are overdone. All right. However, with this kind of thing, you could see, again, a burst of maybe maybe somebody's going to see some thunder snow. It'll be a very wet thunder snow, but maybe possibility. You can't completely rule it out uh, at this point because this is a very rapidly deepening coastal low pressure system that's occurring. All right. Um, the other thing, of course, is the winds. So if we look at the NAM winds, uh, let's go to the 850 wind. All right. So we'll first look at the 850 wind here. Um, you'll see, again, the strong the winds aren't terrible. I mean, the NAM is because of the, let's go to the surface wind here. This is the wind here. Um, I don't, I'm not really expecting much wind damage uh, tomorrow, but it's just going to be breezy conditions. So it's just going to, when the wind is blowing and the snow is coming down, it'll feel like a snowstorm for a couple of hours tomorrow. It most definitely will. And maybe I could see the sense and maybe that's why they want to do the winter storm warning. But other than that, I just don't see how you're going to get uh, those kind of accumulations that they're calling for. Uh, FE3, have another model to look at here. All right, so here's the FE3, which is the high-resolution GFS, and you see rain right around sunrise. That's when it changes to heavy, heavy snow. Don't do that. Um, and you'll see that heavy snow right over there, 15Z. And then the GFS a little bit slower here with the movement of this, um, maybe a little too slow. Um, and therefore, because it has us in probably a heavier snow area, it probably would give us more. So let's go to total snowfall here. And that is, uh, yeah, you can see here it has those higher end amounts again uh, that it has to a total accumulated precip. 
Uh, yeah, GFS a little further to the north compared to the others uh, with the track and a little slower, and maybe a little bit behind the curve, I think, because the storm is moving faster uh, than we thought, because the problem is, over. Right, let's go here to the precipitation here. I'm back it up to right now. It's just a little, it's a hair slow when we look at the radar here. Let's look at the position here of the actual the storm here, and then we'll go ahead and we'll go to this, and we'll kind of see how they look and see how they're lining up, if they're lining up good or not. Um, GFS is actually too far to the north, actually. That's the problem. It's too far to the north. So um, too far to the north and a little slower. So um, yeah, I don't know how, how that's going to pan out. But again, even if we go look at this, total snowfall or we, it doesn't have the other uh, feature that we have in the other model. But again, let's look at our dew points and wind flow here throughout the storm here. And again, dew points are below freezing now, but they actually rise. Yeah, we're kind of got partial data here. But you see the dew points is above freezing there. All right, so that's the other issue you have. Dew points are above freezing. Temperatures are above freezing. So it's a very strange and very hard to forecast situation because of that. Yeah, there's a high bust potential. Uh, there's a high boom potential perhaps, but... I just don't see it. So now that we looked at most of these models, let's go ahead and show you my snowfall map and what I think is going to happen for tomorrow's storm. Uh, so here we go. We'll make this a little larger for you. All right. So I kind of did the mostly rain is going to be extreme southeast New Jersey. Right. I would say anything probably from south to like uh, Stafford along the coast there. But you've got to be right along the coast. Otherwise, it's going to be traced to two inches. Most of Ocean County to Burlington. Monmouth, it's gonna, now you're going to have this 2 to 4 inch uh, that's going to stretch across central Jersey, the lower part of central Jersey. It's Monmouth County um, and parts of Middlesex, um, uh, Brooklyn, Staten Island, a uh, good part of Manhattan, uh, uh, southern Queens, Nassau County, south of the LIE, uh, and central Suffolk County. Uh, so it's going to be in that two to four zone right now. The South Shore, extreme South Shore barrier islands. I still think you're in that trace to two. And we go to the North Shore and the northern parts of Queens and the Bronx, uh, north of the LIE. This is where we're going to see possibly three to six inches of snow. So I've raised that. And then north of that, um, on the, now there is going to be a cutoff north of this spot here. But north of that, I still think you're, that's where you're most likely to get to six to 12 inches. In um in, West, in northern Westchester County, uh, Rockland County, Sussex County, uh, those areas. So this is what I think. And would I issue a winter storm warning for this storm? No, I would not issue a winter storm warning. I would issue a winter weather advisory. I think the weather service is going overboard here uh, because you got five hours of snow. So you got five hours of decent snow. All right. Uh, you've got a eight to one ratio. Um. You're going to have to do better than two inches an hour to get the numbers that the Weather Service is calling for. Uh, and I, I have yet to see that something like that happen, but, you know, maybe we'll be surprised. We just don't know at this point. It's more of almost like a, once the storm gets started, it's more of a now casting situation. But all I see right now is rain on the map. So uh, anyway, let's talk beyond the storm for a little bit. Uh, and we'll just look at the GFS actually. One more model we can look at, the RGM, the 18Z RGM um, here. So that's the model I usually use for the sky. So this is the RGM here. And you can see how quick that thing moves. It's move. It's booking. All right. It's, it's, it's really just moving very, very quickly. So, you know, you have a very quick hitting uh, heavy wet snow type of event that's going to be in and it's going to be out. All right. Uh, and beyond, behind that system... Um, we might actually see the sun tomorrow afternoon, uh, late in the morning before it sets. Uh, and then for Wednesday, uh, we'll see uh, sun, but maybe mixing with some clouds in the afternoon. It's debatable how many of those clouds we'll see popping up uh, Wednesday. Uh, but it will be uh, colder, that's for sure, on Wednesday, like I said. And uh, let's see how much the GFS has. Uh, you can see GFS showing a little more in the way of clouds, perhaps, that pop up. Uh, but uh, let's go look at our temperatures for Wednesday. And you see, yeah, we'll be struggling to reach the freezing mark, especially with snow on the ground. There will be snow accumulation. That's not a question. It's how much, obviously. 
Uh, and I just don't see the six plus inch amounts for most of Long Island except maybe the North Shore. Uh, looking at your dew points and wind flow, you can see here is the really dry air is kind of up the north more. Uh, once the storm is done, uh, we'll have uh, a little bit of a moderation on Thursday before the next cold front comes through. And again, we'll talk more about the weather. Um, oh yeah, I got to talk about the winds too. So let's let's do that too. So again, uh, mid 30s. So we'll have we'll have temperatures above freezing after Wednesday. We'll probably get above freezing again for highs. So I'll melt some of that snow uh, before the next cold blast comes in on Sunday. Uh, though it won't be Arctic air, it'll be polar air, but it's still we're still going to be below normal, still getting some winter weather, something we haven't had. At least this winter is going better than last winter where we didn't have any winter weather, and this will this probably will be the most significant snowfall we've had in, in over two years. And I, I guess you could say it's a big deal, but it shouldn't be a big deal in winter. Um, but I still don't think it's going to be a, a you know winter storm warning level event. Uh, I don't agree with it. We'll see what happens tomorrow. You know, we'll see. Who's right? You know, if it can snow two to three inches an hour for five hours and maybe you can make it happen. I don't know. Uh, but it's a quick it's a quick hitting storm. So let's go to the winds next. We'll do the vent to sky for that. Um, and we will go and look at the wind gusts uh, for tomorrow. So the winds will pick up. We'll have those northerly winds. Um, but I mean, these are wind gusts. Nothing terrible. It'll be breezy, but nothing nothing damaging. And again, the storm's a little further to the south, so we're going to see a little less wind from it. Now, the further to the south you are, the more of the wind I issues you're going to have. But other than that, it's mainly just going to be the snow that's going to be coming down. So if I hit the snow cover here, uh, which is the HRRR here, um, you can see uh, it's showing three. It's kind of in line with what we're saying. So it's 11 o'clock. Let me just move this to two when the storm is done. So you can see it's a little overdone. It's got the seven seven inch amount now this is a snowfall i'm guessing this is snowfall um so this is another map of this another snowfall map but you got to take a couple of in, a little bit off of that because of those high rate those ratios that you got all right so that's why i just don't buy that these i don't buy these numbers man i don't buy them uh with these ratios and these marginal temperature i just don't see it i and i hate storms like these because they're so hard to predict and sometimes you you know you get a bust and sometimes you get a surprise it's very hard. It's very hard to forecast. And this is speaking of a lot of snow. Look at what the Euro is doing just for fun. All right. It's actually backed off a little bit now. It's saying seven inches. Um, it's backed off. But you notice it's moved the snow more to the south now. All right. So we'll have to see what happens. But either way, it should look pretty on Wednesday with some snow on the ground, though. I don't think it's going to be a crazy amount of snow. But it should. And this will be the kind that will cling to the trees. So, um, you know, we will get at least we're doing a little bit better this winter than last winter with, uh, you know, getting some snow and cold weather. And like I said, we'll, after the storm, we'll be getting some cold weather. We'll be below normal for a little while. So enjoy winter. It is back. And I guess that's going to wrap up this Long Island weather update. Uh, and we'll see what happens. I just think that they're overdone on these snowfall totals. Uh, but we'll see. You know, maybe we'll get a surprise. Uh, but I just uh, I just don't see that we're going to be getting. Uh, I, th I think we're going to get a, a general two to four inch snowfall, except for the North Shore, which will get a higher hit on Long Island. But generally two to four inches, mainly on the grassy areas, um, unless we can get those temperatures to drop a little lower. If we can get them at the freezing mark, then we can get some more accumulation. But if it's 34, 35 degrees, you know, it's going to be hard. So. Uh, it's also going to be falling during the day, which is another strike against this storm. So you have a lot of strikes against this storm, but uh, it's a very, very hard to forecast storm. And like I said, storms like these drive me and every other person who follows the weather crazy because of the such marginal temperatures. Uh, but I just don't think the winter storm warning is necessary uh, for uh, all this whole area. I think a winter weather advisory would suffice, but uh, for Long Island at least. Uh, except maybe for the North Shore, but they they just want to have the winter storm warning. Uh, there are very very few advisories. They basically have a very believe in a very sharp cutoff. Uh, so one more look at our storm on the satellite. Let's go here, um, and here's your storm on the satellite. So you can see it right here. This is where the coastal is going to develop tonight. So we'll watch this, and uh, I'll have some updates during the storm. See what uh, see what happens. Maybe we can get some thunder snow around here. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too optimistic about that. We'll see. <laughs> and every time I'm optimistic about thunder snow, I always get disappointed. 
uh, especially now that the storm is trending further to the south, and a lot of that lift is now to the south of the area. So anyway, that's going to wrap up this Long Island weather update. Thank you for watching. Have a good night.